Next question is from Catherine Health Journey. I took three years off after dieting on low calories for years to reverse and get my calories up to a better level. Now I'm trying to cut a bit and my weight is not budging. What do you suggest? Well, if it's not budging, first of all, are we talking about weight on the scale or body fat percentage? Because oftentimes the weight on the scale isn't moving, but you're getting this nice body composition change. And I would see this with clients uh, often where it's like, oh my gosh, my, the scale hasn't moved or it's only moved a little bit. Then I would test their body fat and be like, whoa, you, you actually gained a couple pounds of muscle and lost a couple pounds of body fat. So this is a good position to be in. So that's number one. Number two, if it is body fat percentage that's not going down, then you're not actually at a cut. You're right. you're still you're still eating too many calories. You have to reduce your calories even more. You know, it's interesting. There's this this like play, there's like this buffer zone with your metabolism where you know, so much lean body mass burns so many calories, but there's like it could burn this low of calories or this high of calories depending on whether or not the body wants to become more or less efficient. Just cutting calories tends to make your metabolism want to become more efficient. Just bumping calories tends to make your calories want to be uh, less efficient. So you actually burn more calories. So that's something to consider too. Sometimes you think you're cutting, your metabolism adapts immediately, and the reality is you just need to drop down uh, a little bit more. Yeah, and are you reading this as uh, three years uh, of just dieting or did three years off of everything? It says off after like, dieting. So yeah, maybe I'm wondering if that means like no exercise that's too. That's true. That's a yeah. good point. You know, so if you have just, if you stopped uh, eating low cal and exercising and dieting and then you took three years off completely of everything does that mean that you took three years off of dieting and you took three years also off of exercise because yeah. if that's the case the main thing that i would do with you we talked about this in a recent uh, i think qua where i talked about just my goal for you is to not gain or lose it would be to kind of maintain your weight but introduce strength training and slowly increase calories like that is a huge one if we can get 30, 60 days down the road, and you've been consistently strength training, following like a MAPS anabolic type of a protocol, following that routine, being consistent, making good food choices, balanced mm -hmm. balanced macros, and in a surplus, and your weight not go up or down, uh, that's a beautiful place yeah, to so be. That, I mean, that's a vital component to the whole process is to be able to train your way through that. So not, yeah, I would assume that the they were probably doing that, but if that's not part of the the formula, you know, you're gonna have a hard time. We need to recomp your body with with lean muscle mass. So yep. that's that's all part of like building up your metabolism again to then start kind of shedding back I, down. I also would look into activity level. Uh, the guys and I were just talking off air about this. I was sharing with them. Um, you know, I had a, a similar like this conversation with myself, uh, man, I'm eating really good and I'm training right now. And man, my body, I normally would be leaning out right yeah, you now. You just overestimated your calorie. Burn, yeah. Right? I'm just overestimating how many calories I'm burning just cause I'm exercising mm -hmm. and just cause I'm eating good. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to lean out. I'm over consuming calories. I'm not moving very much. I was, I put on, so I actually put on my Fitbit for a couple weeks just to kind of get an idea, recalibrate where I was at. And what I found was I'm extremely sedentary right mm -hmm. now. My only bit of activity is my training, the rest of it, and maybe a little play with my son. The rest of it is really sitting down on this chair or sitting down in my car or in front of the computer. So I had to reduce my calories and or be aware of the days where maybe I, I go create more activity. So, you know, you got to either one, create more activity by going out and moving more, getting more uh, steps, walking or low intensity cardio um, or reduce your calories.